Hey everybody, Travis Sight with Duck Wild Waterfowl here. Um, I'm not one big on wasting your guys' times on doing tips uh, every week and whatnot, but uh, today I was getting my turkey hunt stuff put up, tell, uh, get some new fans put up on the wall, and just kind of doing some miscellaneous things. Uh, one of the cool things, cool products that we used this year was the uh, Mojo Scoot and Shoot here. It's a pretty good product. Uh, I'm not sponsored by Mojo or anything, but I think it's a good product, so we're gonna tell you guys about it. Um, it comes with this fan right here, this fake fan, which is pretty realistic. Um, folds right up, which is nice, easy to go, and also comes with a device that uh, can hold a real fan and uh, this is let me show you one of the decoys we use with the real fan is that right there that kill a lot of birds doing the old reaper style behind that but uh right there um but what i wanted to do was i was thinking about how to have a fan with real feathers that you could fold up just like this one. So the plan is to alter this and uh, film throughout the process and show you guys um, what it looks like as we go along and show you the different steps we take and I haven't done this yet so hopefully it turns out good. and. Uh, I'm just going to confidently say it's going to turn out good, because if it's not, then no one's going to see this video on YouTube, so there's that. Um, but let's Here we have the long feathers from the turkey that will go on first. Here we have the medium length feathers and then the small, fine, detailed feathers. The plan is to cut right around here so we have a good base still for super glue. And then we're gonna put on, we're gonna put the big feathers on first, then the medium feathers. We got and the, the outside part cut it off. There is hard plastic in here, and we just took a box cutter knife and we cut those pieces off. Pretty simple. And uh, we're getting ready to start putting feathers on there. Just got the back layer on. Looks all right. Let the glue dry. I'm gonna go eat a cheeseburger, and then uh. I'm gonna come back and get the next layer on. It's getting dark on me, but I got the finished product. As you can see, still got the still got the fabric part on the back, and it's a little dark. You can't see that. But as you can tell, I did leave it a little thin here in the middle, and that is just so uh, I can fold it up and just fold it in two, just like that. Cut your fan down in half. Um, you can fold it up all the way like I showed you before but the feathers start to get crinkled up and this is this is just the best way to do it I think fold it in two um, not quite as small as I wanted it but still remarkably better and easier to transport than a normal fan would be so I think it turned out here's well. the finished product with the decoy it goes on there pretty good Looks pretty much just like a just like a real fan and a real tom, but it's a little bit more mobile now and easier to take with you on those long hunting trips. <laughs> 